Hey, I wanted to take a minute and talk about my Python and Motion Builder homework. The assignment read, using Python, select an object in Motion Builder and gain access to its X rotation. Well, I want to take this a little bit further and build a native GUI for this tool. I began with this boilerplate code that was provided by Autodesk. You can see here on line 13 is where it actually loads my bit of code. This allows my script to behave like any other Motion Builder Python tool shown under the Tool Manager. It can be docked to any of the windows. Here I'll dock it to this spot here. And uh, it can also be loaded here from the Tool Manager, like so. I'll go ahead and put it back there to be docked. Now the main bit of code can be found here in GUI.py. Go ahead and take a look at that. Now the bulk of the code here is less than 100 lines of code. The interface was created with Qt Designer. That file is loaded separately here on line 23. Code could have been much shorter, but to better illustrate the assignment, I added several methods for creating and deleting random objects. This bit of code beginning on line 64 will create a random primitive shape from a list and then apply random rotation, translation, scaling from the range I defined. This is accomplished by using the built-in motion builder function fbvector3d to assign those values directly to the objects dot translation, rotation, and scaling. Likewise, this method on line 88 can read the values for translation and rotation, which is given as an array, and then store it to a variable. I set this variable to the text my GUI displays, but really, anything could be done with it from here. Let me go ahead and demonstrate the code in action. If we click generate random object, you can see it created a cone and a cube with random, rotation, scaling, and translation. We could see the readout for the cube here. It's got its translation as x equals 141, y equals 49, z equals 132, and the corresponding rotation x, y, and z values also. We can verify with the property viewer that they do indeed match the actual values for the cube. Let's go ahead and generate a few more. Got a torus. Can also delete objects here. That's about it. Thank you very much for your time.